Hey, what is up, guys? Abe Suave, and today we're back with another video. Alright, guys, today I'm gonna teach you guys how to install Retro Arc and install GBA games and NES games. Now, unfortunately, you cannot install Nintendo 64 games onto your PlayStation 3. I don't know why. I guess Retro Arc hasn't, you know, gotten to that yet on the PS3. But for now, you know, GBA games and NES games is alright for now. Now, important step that you need to know. So, your PlayStation is either on Sex or it's on Dex. A way to find out is to simply go on your PS3, but you need Rebook Toolbox before doing this. You need to go on your PS3 and activate Rebook Toolbox to check it. Um, very important step, guys, all right? There's two different downloads, all right? These downloads depend on what your PlayStation 3 is on, all right? So your PlayStation 3 can either be on Sex or Dex. Now, I'm going to teach you guys how to figure out what your PlayStation 3 is on right now, all right, guys? So stay tuned. All right, guys, once we're on the PlayStation 3, what you guys want to do is you want to go into Rebug Toolbox. If you do not have Rebug Toolbox, it's very simple download. I will leave the description down below in the link. So to download it, you just want to put in USB, all right? Once you're in USB, you want to go to, I mean, once you, um, you know, download to USB and like plug in your USB to your PlayStation 3, you just want to go into install package files, standard, and here, Rebug Toolbox. So say if I want to download, just press X and boom, it's really, really easy. Now, once that's over with, guys, you want to go into Rebug Toolbox, all right? All right, once you're in Rebug Toolbox, you just want to go into Information System. All right, guys, as you can see, mine is on Sex, all right? Uh, it, it, yours should either be on Sex or Dex, all right? Depending on what it is, you want to download the file. Now, we're going to head back to the PC and download the right file. All right, guys, now, as you can tell, my PlayStation 3 is on Sex, so I'm just going to simply download Sex, all right, guys? Now, it's downloading. Now... While it's downloading, you're gonna need ROMs, all right, guys? Now, I have two websites that I really suggest. Uh, number one is going to be Cool ROMs, all right? All right, guys, so I lied. <laughs> now, Cool ROMs doesn't have any more Game Boy games anymore, all right? But I do have another solution. It's called EMU Paradise. Now, there is a way to access this website because you can't normally access it. I'm gonna leave the link down below of my video to show you guys how to access this website. But basically, once you have the access to it, you can just download it really quick. Now these games are very very small, right guys? It's just, like tiny, right guys? So you just want to leave that like that. All right, you want to open it. Simply just drag it, put it right there, right? It's so simple, guys. Very simple. Now I have already, you know, you know, got a whole lot of ROMs. All right, these are all my ROMs. Just give it a sec to open. Now all of these is just whatever. These are nothing, but these are my ROMs right here. This is my Game Boy Advance games. Um, I don't have any Game Boy Color games, but I do have NES games. Now, guys, I, as you can see, I have Z64. That's supposed to be Nintendo 64, but unfortunately, you cannot run Nintendo 64 games on your PlayStation 3. They, didn't, they don't have that yet. So I'm just going to delete these for now. Alright, guys. So let's just drop this over here since it is an NES game. Now, what you want to do is very simple. You just want to put these onto your folder. And just delete all of these. Alright guys, now that it's done downloading, what you want to do, give it a second for it to finish. Alright guys, now that it's done downloading onto your USB, you just want to take out your USB simply by ejecting it. Alright, once that's done, you just want to plug your USB into your PS3. Alright guys, catch you on your PS3. Alright guys, once you want to play Station 3 again, you just want to simply plug in your USB and go into Package Manager. Alright, install packages, standard. And go to where you see Retro Arc. Alright, I'm gonna download it. Alright, guys, now that's done installing, you just wanna circle out of it. And here it is, guys. Now, do not do anything yet, alright? Because we still wanna install our ROMs. So you just wanna go into Multi Man. Alright, guys, once you're in Multi Man, you just wanna go into File Manager. Let's exit out of these really quickly. Alright, guys, so what you wanna do is you wanna go into Dev HDDD, alright? And then go all the way to where you see ROMs. You just want to double click on it and just leave this to the side. Now, once you just left this to the side, 
so i already have it open i'm just gonna drag this over here this is this is the same thing all right i just i just did it twice so what you want to do you want to open the ps3 root again and you want to go to dev usb all right now this is your usb now what you want to do you want to go into roms folder and you just want to copy the folders that you have stuff in it so i'm just gonna copy this whole folder this i'm just gonna copy this whole folder and I'm just gonna paste it right here. All right, guys. Copy and paste. Simple as that. And it's gonna be really quick, guys. Remember, because these games are less than one gigabyte. Way, way, way less than one gigabyte. All right, guys. All right. So that's one folded down. Another one to go. And as you can see, it's saying copying 75 files. That means it's copying 75 different games, all right, guys? And it's less than one gigabyte. All right, guys, once it's done, it should look like this. I don't know why I copied like that. It's pretty weird, but as long as it's in the same folder, guys, it doesn't matter. So you just want to exit out of everything. X. All right, and you wanna go to where it says games, all right? Now from here, you just wanna go all the way to the left and quit. And now what you wanna do, you just wanna close your PlayStation 3. All right, guys, once we loaded up the PlayStation 3 again, what you wanna do is simply go into RetroArch PS3. All right, guys, so once it's loaded up, all you wanna do is scroll all the way to the right, all right? Now you want to go scan five for directory, dev hdd or whatever it's called. Scroll down until you see where you put the game. Now mine is in ROMs, all right? Now you just want to go scan this directory, all right? Now as you can tell, on the bottom left corner, it's going to say, we, you can't really see it, but right here it says 3 and it says 79. That means it's already loaded up, all right, now it's up to 5. It already loaded up 5 games out of 79 games, all right? Now you just want to wait until this completes. All right, guys, it just finished. Now let me show you what you're gonna do next. You just want to circle out of this, circle, circle, and boom, guys, here you got it. Your game's right here, right? This is your Game Boy Advance games. Yeah, uh, I think it's regular Game Boy games, and this is your um. I can't really remember what type of games these are actually. But yeah, oh. Nintendo Entertainment System, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. It tells you right there on the top. I didn't even see that, guys. Look, see? Right there, boom, boom, boom. All right. Now, let me just, you know, show you guys how it works. Really, really simple. You just want to press X on it, all right? And just press Run. And just press, you know, any um, any of the, the thingies that they, you know, show you with. Just pick the top one. Top one's always good. And boom, guys, here it is. It's working. Um... So it's gonna work like a regular, um, like if you're playing on the, on the, like you know, like the Game Boy stuff like that. You could change the button layout, but I'm not really gonna, you know, mess into that, you know, too much. But um, let me see, uh, what's the name? All right, let's press start. All right, so Abe. All right, and you can't use these. All right, you gotta use these. Abe Sway, because I don't think I can fit my whole name in there. Boom, all right. Uh, press start, nope. Okay, so you just keep, you just keep on pressing this. And I guess then, yep, register. Oh, you just gotta press start, okay. Do I gotta press start? All right, here it goes. And here it is, guys, I'm moving and stuff. See how this works. Can I not fight? Maybe I don't have anything to fight with. Oh yeah. Alright, look guys. I know you can um you can how you call it. I'm pretty sure you can um change up the settings a little bit. I can't remember which button it was. I think it was like this. Oh, okay, there it is. I think we have yeah, press both these at the same time. Now you can do this thing where you can make things fast all right basically like 
you can make the game go fast and i personally want you know always want to have this game on fast because it'd be boring you know this is a game boy game what you what you what you expect so i'm pretty sure it's an input and you gotta go to things called input hockey binds yes see fast forward toggle now i'm just gonna press this button right here do that you gotta press on it and boom press this one i always want to exit out of here now now as you, you can see it's on fast forward so we just gotta like yeah dog hey you got the sword But I don't feel like I'm oh, okay. Alright, so this is I'm guessing this is A. And yeah, pretty much it. Oh shit. But yeah, it's on fast. And if you want to, you know, slow it down, the button that you chose, you gotta press it again. Like, alright, so for me, it was this button, so I'm just gonna press it again. Now everything's on normal. See now everything's on fast. Oh, what the fuck is Ah oh, shit. On to the next game though. Alright guys, and if you just want to switch, you know, switch out your games, I'm pretty sure it's like this. Just do the same thing, double press on these, and let's go to a different game. Personally, my favorite game is going to be Pokemon. Alright, so let me just press on that. No? Alright, I guess I gotta. Okay, now it's working. Boom, here it is, guys. Now, obviously, when it comes to Pokemon, you don't want this slow shit. Oh, also, as you can tell, oh, oops, that's not what I meant to press. The sound is good. It doesn't even sound choppy. It doesn't sound nothing like that. It sounds very, very smooth. Now, let's just fast forward this, all right, guys, because we don't want none of that, all right? Boom, new, new game. Yeah, see, this is why I have this shit on fast forward, because they talk forever, bro. Especially in Pokemon, bro. Alright, guys, but um, I'm just going to, you know, continue on, you know, continue showing you guys how this works, the controls and stuff like that. If you guys feel like, you know, you got this packed down, then you already know what to do. You can just leave, do your own thing. But please, guys, if this video did help you, please leave a like and a subscribe and stay tuned for more content. Alright, guys, catch you in the next one. But for those that, you know, want to see this game, you know, like in action, then stay tuned, bro. All right, let's start. So, so, yeah, the button layout was just basically these two. This is A, I'm guessing this is B. All right. Yeah, this is definitely A, this is B. You can always change it yourself, though. To, the way to change it, you basically press this. And uh, I believe... Change controls currently running X and right here, guys. You see this? You can change it. See that? You can change it. But I'm not gonna touch it. I like I like how it is. All right. So this is. Hurry up! Let me get out the truck. It's my mom. So she looks like a milf. Yo. <laughs> yeah, I might be a little too young. I don't even know. Hi, are we in the new crib? Right, I changed my clock. Don't forget to change my clock. I heard you, moms. Uh, ooh, I don't even know what time it is. Yes? Yeah, I love my room. Mom looks wavy, but like, who has their bed in the middle? Like, who does that? This is weird, guys. I don't know why, but I can't move down for some reason. How can I move down? Should you want to go down? Shut up. Mm. Ah, yes. I think that's my pops. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I played this game a little bit before, guys. Yo, what is going on? All right, hold up, guys. For some reason, I can't go down. So you can you can easily fix this. Just go into controls. Um, you see, look, I don't know why it says D-pad down is up. That makes no sense whatsoever. 
Oh. What's happened? D-pad down. Oh, okay. All right, let's see. All right, guys. Now it's working. I don't know why he's bugging out a little bit. Let me see if I can talk to these guys. Yep, button layout is working perfectly fine. Talk to you. All right. Now, I'm just going to skip forward until, like, you know, we get to, like, an actual Pokemon battle, guys. All right? All right, guys. We're about to get into a Pokemon battle. All right? We don't want this one. Fire type for life, you feel me? Right, let's get this. Let's get this. Let's test it out. Fight, scratch. See how fast it is to fight these motherfuckers? See, boom. All right, guys. This this game works pretty well. Um, make sure if this video did help you to leave a like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content. All right, guys. Catch you guys in the next one.